Hello, guys. Good evening, Miss. Good evening. How are you today? Please do take your speaker. Can you hear me? Si me escuchan, verdad? Yes, Miss. Yes, Miss. Okay. So we're going to start with our class today, right? So we have Javier, Joanna, Daisy, Emerson, Pablo, Carol, and Janira. Welcome to the class. Thank you so much for being here, right? We really appreciate it. Sure. Now, yesterday we were working with a very important topic, right? We were working with conditionals, zero conditional to be exact, right? We were working with the zero conditional. Now, can you tell me what is the zero conditional for? Do you remember? No idea? The use of zero con conditional. Do you remember why you have to use or why you can use, when you can use zero conditional? Mm -hmm. uh, when, if. No idea? Check your notes, please. Check your notes. Right. Check your notes and tell me when you're supposed to use it. I'm just gonna put this right here, one moment. Uh -huh. Emerson, when can you use zero conditional? When situation have a cause. So... Give me a moment. No lo escucho. No lo escucho. When the situations we, we do mm -hmm. uh, have a cause. Uh, consequence consequence okay very good we can say it like that too right when there is a situation and a consequence of that situation very good excellent what else can you tell me about this the structure of the conditionals Adalberto the structure the zero condition yes and you the if and when and there and complement. The verb and the complement. Very good. Very good. What are the clauses that we have in the in the zero conditional? What type of clauses do we have? Mm -hmm. You don't remember? The structure teacher. The structure, okay. Tell me the if, structure. Uh -huh. If clause or uh, main main clause or when clause in main clause. And the if clause, okay, very good. Thank you so much, Joanna. We have the if clause or the main class, right? Very good, that's perfect, thank you. Now, we're gonna go ahead and check right now one very easy exercise, okay? We're going to go right now and put here, right? We're gonna match the sentences into 
the activity that we want to complete. We're going to do a lot of exercises today related to zero conditional. We're going to try to work on vocabulary and then the rest of the dates, we're gonna to try to finish whatever we got pending, right? Now, let's start here. Can you see my computer? Yes, miss. Yes, okay, very well. Now, what are we gonna do? We're going to look at the examples here these are, these are the if clauses. All of them are if clauses. And we have the other half of this of the of the clause to make a complete sentence, right? To make a complete conditional. So what you're going to do is to look at the examples here, look at the parts and connect them. For example, if we say if you mix red and blue, what happens? It sinks. Do you get a summer? It melts, you get orange, you, you get, get time. Orange. You get orange, orange, red and blue, orange. Purple. Or purple. 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 You got okay, purple. you get purple. I don't know about colors. Right? Emerson is like me right now. Hmm. Actually, purple. <laughs> Very good. You get purple. purple. Yeah, me too. Me too. But that's what you're going to do right now. Try to connect them and then we're going to share the answers okay you're gonna have two minutes let's see two minutes try to put them together i will ask you right now welcome imelda elena yanira carol welcome to the class daisy carlos sara welcome hi teacher hi there Hey, my Joe. Oh, I see. Thank you for letting us know. <laughs> <clears throat> Just gonna put myself here into the other channel. Just give me a moment. Si me ven que me quedo trabajando porque me estoy cambiando de internet, okay? Give me a moment. Okay. ¿Me escucha? Yes, teacher. Yes, yes miss. Yes, very miss. good. Very good. Very good. Let me know whenever you finish, please, so we can check the answers. Remember, right now we're working with conditionals. Okay. Once this clock gets to 4.30, 4.30, we're gonna start sharing. So we have one minute. Finish, miss. Excellent, Emerson.
Okay, so let's share here. Uh, you start Emerson. What do you, which one do you have? I'll let you choose. Okay. Yes. If you throw a stone into the water, mm -hmm. it sinks. It sinks, okay. Thank you. Joanna, you choose. Which one? Hit you meet red and yellow. Uh -huh. You get orange. You get orange. Okay, <laughs> Joanna, thank you. <laughs> this, oh, this is at work. This is at trabajo. Let's see, Castillo. Choose one. If if you put an egg into salty water, it floats. It flows, okay. Flows. Okay, Adalberto. If you water fresher, it's common ice. If you it's water fresher. If water freezer. If water freezer. Uh -huh. It common ice. It becomes ice, okay. It becomes ice. Very good. Very good. Imelda, what do you have? No? You don't have the answer? Okay, let's see, Vladimir. Okay. If you hit the water to 100 degrees Celsius. It's boiled. It boils, okay. It's Sara Abigail, next. Sorry? Imelda, ¿qué dijo? No la escuché. No, dice el micrófono. No sé si será mi internet, pero se oye como, como cortado. ¿Alguien, ¿Alguien entendió para que me ayude? No, mi, se escucha cortado. Ajá, se le, escríbalo, Imelda, escríbalo. Thank you, Carl. Carol, what do you have? Do you have any of these answers? Uh, no, Miss. No yet? Okay, it's okay. It's okay. Uh, let's see. Janina, give us one of the answers. Okay, teacher, is if you leave ice in the sun, it smells. It melts. Okay, thank you. Uh, Magaña. Oscar Noé. Oscar. Okay, Jose Bernardo. Yes, teacher. Okay, give us an answer, please. If you run too fast, you get tired. You get tired, okay. Joanna, go with the next one. And the last one is going to be for Emerson. If uh, you stay in the sun too long, you get a sunburn. You get a sunburn, thank you. And Emerson? If you throw a stone into the water, it sinks. Ah, uh, no, the last one. Uh, <laughs> if you exercise regularly, uh, you feel healthy. You feel healthy. Okay, very good. You feel healthy. Now we're going to click on send the answers. 
but I know that they are correct, right? We can see them there. Very good job, right? We are understanding a little bit of zero conditional. So that's perfect. That is totally perfect with us. Very good. Now, we're going to continue practicing with zero conditionals, right? We need to practice. We're going to do another grammar practice, right? That's going to be like a quiz, okay? Just, but it's, it's not, uh, you're not going to have extra points or something. It's just for us to check what we remember, right? And then we're going to do a speaking activity. But let's just start right here, okay? Give me a sec. Give me a moment. I will. I will send this to you in a moment right now. So you can have it. I think you're gonna get it on your One moment. Okay, I just sent you a document right now to your WhatsApp. Right? Can you see there? Can you see your WhatsApp, please? Yes, teacher. Okay. Very good. Thank you, Sara. Now, what are we doing here with this activity? Right? With this activity, pretty much, right? We're working with two options, right? So what you're going to do is to choose the best sentence, right? Look at them quickly. I right? look at them quickly and decide, what do you think? Are they okay? They are not, right? Which is best for you, right? So we have there, this is what you get, right? The grammar quiz, right? And you have two options. You have letter A and letter B says, when I stay up late, I am tired the next morning. When I'm tired the next morning, I stay up late. What is the best option, right? This is all zero conditional, right? So look at all the information, right? Look if it makes sense, right? And select your answer. This is a quiz. It's for us to check the knowledge that we have individually. Okay, this is not going to be in pairs. So I need you to concentrate and try to select. It doesn't matter if it's correct or not. Okay, I want you, I want to see if you know something about the conditionals. Okay, let's start. No importa si salen bien o mal, traten de leer. No busquen en internet, sino que con lo que se acuerdan, traten de seleccionar la que está mejor. Okay, let's do it. Don't translate them, try to understand them. I'm gonna take this away from my screen. And let's start, we're gonna have, I think five minutes for you to read, we'll be okay.
Okay. Let me know if you know, if you don't know some vocabulary. If not, I will stay quiet. Right. Los que están de oyentes, por favor, traten de hacer esta actividad ustedes solo después. No la dejen ahí perdida. Háganla. Thank you. Let me know whenever you're ready. You look all concentrated right now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
already done. Perfect, Vladimir. We're gonna wait for the others. My camera is wrong. Camera is off. Está dañada, no? No me da acceso. Oh, it's broken. Ah, okay, it's broken. It's broken. Let me see here. Le voy a mandar una invitación para que comience la cámara, a ver si se la deja comenzar. Okay. Ahorita? No, no le cayó nada. Sí, dos veces. Y dice eh, este video. Este video qué? No sirve. <ríe> En el chat está ah, en WhatsApp. Ajá. Yo creo que la compu Ajá. tiene problema. Sí, la compu, eh. la compu. La compu, la compu. Ok, perfect, perfect. Thank you so much. Now let's go ahead and start here. Uh, Alberto, you finish. Joana, Javier, Imelda. Bernardo. Yes, please. Yes. Yes, please. Carol, Tatiana. Ok, very good. ¿Dónde Tatiana está? Sara es la cosa. Ok. Let's just start here. We're gonna check right now. We have the options. We have 16 questions. We don't have many people today, but let's start, right? We're gonna go with one by one and then we're gonna check the possible answers. So let's see here, Miss uh, Joanna. I'm gonna start with you. What do you have in number one? Letter A, when I stay all day, I am tired the next morning. Okay. Okay, perfect. Let me put it here. Letter A. Thank you. Carlos Vladimir, number two. Letter A. My little brother cries when he loses game. When he loses games. Very good. It Let's continue with Javier, number three. Number three, A. Mm -hmm. A coffee tastes better when you add a little sugar. You add a little sugar, okay. Number four, Emerson. Number four, when I stay at home, I usually feel sick. Okay. Letter A, right? Yes, miss. Okay. Uh, Pablo, number five. Letter B. Mm -hmm. When I go on a diet, uh, I start to lose weight. Okay. Imelda, number six. Uh, I. Mm -hmm. It's fine. I like my, my umbrella to work. Okay. If letter Little A. I. A. 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 Okay. If it rains, I take my umbrella to work. Read again. If it rains, I take my umbrella to go to work. Repeat, Imelda. Repeat. Repita lo que acabo de mencionar para que practique. Every day, I take my umbrella to work. Okay, thank you so much. Bernardo, number seven. Uh, let it be. Thomas watches his favorite TV program when he feels bored. Okay, very good. Right, uh, number eight, number eight, Sarah. 
Yes, Sara. Eight. Oh, okay. Carla cries when she watches sad movies. Okay. Carla cries when she watches sad movies. Carol, number nine. My little A. My voice is always angry when I'm there for work. Okay. Thank you. E Noé, number 10. Number 10. Lots of the people go shopping when that store has off sale. Okay. Number 11, Wendy. <clears throat> Letter A, most dishes break if you drop them on the floor. Okay. Number 12, Janira. Uh, 12 is um, when Sam travels by but he doesn't feel well. Thank you. Elena, 13. Um, letter B, you should be kid when you are in a movie trailer. Either, okay, quiet. You should be quiet. Repeat, quiet. Quiet. Quiet, thank you. Go again, Joanna. 14. 14. And eh, what did I say? Eh, <laughs> if animals die, they don't get enough food. Letter B. Letter B, okay. Emerson, go with 15. When Eduardo gets a uh, A plus in, in his exam, he always smiles. Okay, thank you. Let it be. Let it be. And the last one, Bernardo. Letter A. When Cindy travels to Mexico, to Mexico, she takes lot of, lots of photos. Lots of photos. Very good. Thank you. Mexico is fine. Mexico. Okay. Thank you. Now, these are the answers, right? I see like almost all of them are correct. There are like two that are incorrect. Remember that when we are, when we are choosing here the best option, right? You need to think about the context. Does it make sense what I'm saying? What if I say, I start to lose weight if I go on a diet? That makes sense. But when we use when, it's more difficult to make the sentence make sense, right? Because they don't have exactly the same meaning. So we're gonna check the answers. Look at this, right? Remember, this is our score, right? So this is our feedback. Look at the answers. Check your answers there, please. Check on your notebook or your uh, computer. Check it that everything is correct. Check, 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 and tell me if you have questions right now. Tiene lo mismo, hay como dos, dos que les han salido mal, ¿verdad? No va a ser más de eso, probablemente. Emerson, do you have questions? No, yet. Not yet, okay. Okay, perfect. Now, we see here, right, our answers from this exercise. Now I would like you to practice with me, right? I would like you to practice with me a little bit of a speaking too, okay? A little bit of a speaking. And to do that, we are going to work with some of the questions 
that we were working with yesterday. Let me just put it here one moment. Yesterday I show you, right, the questions that we could use. Do you remember these questions? Yesterday I used, I think, number one, and I used number three, right? Now, we have all of these questions today that we're going to practice. Uh, I am going to read the, the questions, but I will ask some of you to help me, okay? So, Javier, please help me with pronunciation, okay? Now, what happens if you don't study for a test? Repeat. What happens if you don't study for a test? Very good. Happens. Happens. Very good. Bernardo, number two. What happens if you eat too much candy? What happens if you eat too much candy? Thank you. Sara, what happens if you always smile and say hello to people? What happens if you always smile and say hello to people? Thank you. Vladimir, what happens if you drop a glass on the floor? Repeat. What happens if you drop a glass on the floor? Thank you. Uh, Adalberto, what happens if you watch a sad movie? What happens if you watch a sad movie? You. Carol, what happens if you mix red and blue paint? What happens if you mix red and blue paint? Okay, very good. Now, let's see. Oscar, what happens if you forget your umbrella on a rainy day? What happens if you forget your umbrella on a rainy day? Thank you. Marlene, what happens if you leave restaurant? Sorry, what happens if you leave our restaurant without paying for your meal? What happens if you leave a restaurant without, without paying for your meal? Thank you, Bernardo. What happens if you play video games for 10 hours? What happens if you play video games for 10 hours? Oof, crazy, right? So we have these questions, right? This is speaking, of course. Now, when I yesterday we practiced with two questions. Now you gave me short answers. That's okay, right? Uh, I get sad, but what I want you to do is to give your response, right? And your response should be something like this for a Uh, for example, right, we can say, if I don't study for a test, look at this, please. If I don't study for a test, I get bad scores. Right. This is okay, but then we need to give more information, right? I usually like to study a lot with my best friend, just to say something, right? Something that is related or connected to the answer that you're giving. I cannot say, um, if I don't study for a test, I get back scores. I like to make pupusas. No, right? It doesn't make sense. We need to say something that is related to the conversation. If you see that your classmate, they don't say anything, try to ask questions, right? Ask questions related to the question, to the first question that we have here. Do you understand what we're doing right now? Or what we are trying to do? Please tell me if you have questions.
Okay. I just sent you, right? Let's see here. Okay. Okay. So sad. So sad. Okay. ¿Tienen preguntas acerca de la actividad que vamos a hacer? Do you have questions? Hola chicos. A veces siento que solo Emerson está en clase, chicos. Vamos, vamos. ¿Tienen preguntas? ¿Se entiende lo que vamos a hacer? Bueno, esperemos que sí. Let's get to work. I'm going to have four people here. Tan, tan, tan. We have female account. Give me a moment. Okay, perfect. Let's get to work. Only speaking right now. Only speaking. Try to speak. Let's get to work. Vamos. Imelda, Tatiana, Vladimir, ¿pueden unirse a sus equipos, por favor? Solo para escuchar cómo van a trabajar. Muchas gracias. Lo, eh, what happens if you eat too much candy? Eh, Podría ser, if you eat too much candy, oh. I usually um, have cavities, o caries. Así sería, pa, eh, Pablo. Así como dar... Ay, ok. Ok. Um, bueno. Okay. Usted elijo una, elija una usted para ver cómo la... Ok. What happens if you draw a glass on the floor? Um, so yeah. If I draw a glass on the floor... Um, if you have a hand on the floor, I I have uh, ese es que si 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 quiebra o o qué dice vos o qué si you drop oh. drop a glass on the floor. Si suelto, ajá. Ajá, si suelto, si suelto. ¿Qué pasa si tú sueltas? A glass on the floor. A glass on the floor. Ah, si, si tiro un vaso a cero. Ajá, vaya, por ejemplo, I, if... I drop a glass on the floor. I usually uh, broke. Bro ¿Cómo es? Uh, quebrar. Break. Break. Okay. 
Thank you. I'll use a new array. Así, así podrías hacer una... Si usted le voy a preguntar, por ejemplo, uh, What happened if you forget if you forget your umbrella on a rainy day? And number eight. What happened if you forget, um, forget your umbrella, umbrella on, a rainy... on a rainy day? If you... If... Uh, um... Is I forget the uh, umbrella. I okay. Entonces, eh, para crear la oración, por ejemplo, forget. Uh -huh. Es olvidar, entonces. I if forget if my, my I forget umbrella. my umbrella I get wet. Uh -huh. Ok. Uh, por ejemplo, number 10. What happened if you play video games to ten, for 10 hours? If I play video games for 10 hours. It is a play. I. Video games for 10 hours. I. I usually. I usually have. <laughs> I usually have. Um, I usually have. Uh, my A my A is tightest. <laughs> si juego mucho, tengo mis ojos cansados. <laughs> no estoy practicando. <laughs> what happened? What happened? If you play video games for 10 hours. Um... What happens if you watch a sad movie? I feel uh, bored. I, I cry. I cry. Uh, with Mori. Mm -hmm. And what what happens if you meet red and blue paint? Blue paint. Red and blue I, paint. I get the orange paint. Orange. I hit I I have the purple color. Orange is purple. Okay, you say that si mezcla rojo con azul. Rojo con azul, eh? Or I have four, I have purple color. Fíjense que el morado es el que queda. Purple tendría que ser, ¿verdad? Purple, sí. Ajá. Rojo con azul es, es morado. Purple. What happens if you throw a 
spice of war into a fire. From it's true. Uh -huh, it's not true. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's said true. Ah, the peace is, is by ah. Um, no. Burns. Born, uh huh. Burns. Burns. The piece of wood is born. Burned. Burned. Así sería. Sí. What happens? If you forget your umbrella on a rainy day. I um, I get wet. I get wet. <laughs> My mom. I take a shower. Oh you have a fan. Wow, it's I get wet, dice. I get wet. Oh, me enfermo. Wet? I get sick. I wet. Ajá, también, también. I, I get sick. sick. I, I get sick. O, oh, ¿cómo se dice? Gripe? <laughs> Flu. I get sick. Ah, flu. Ajá. Uh -huh. I get flu. I get the flu. Flu. Uh, flu. The flu in the mocos. <laughs> I get flu. Mm -hmm. What happens if you leave a restaurant? Uh, we we talk, no sé cómo se pronuncia eso. We talk playing without, without playing without playing without playing for two minutes. Depende dónde va, si va a la Chapultepec, le pegan por chat. Salgo sin pagar Ajá. por mi comida. Sí. Hay going to. Ah, no, pero es que no puede ser going, ¿verdad? No se puede, no se puede, tiene que ser presente simple. Sí, sí, exactly. Ajá. Uh -huh. I'm afraid I, of police. I go to, to jail, está bien. Do you share your answers? Uh, more or less. More or less. <coughs> Is only you working or do you have Sara and Janira? No, they are there. They are there. They are so there. have they come up. Ah, okay, okay. Perfect. So I see in a moment then. Okay, two minutes. Okay. So what happens if you forget your umbrella on a rainy day? Entonces, entonces usted va a decir, if I, y lo que nos va a contestar, basado en eso.
Okay, so let's go ahead and share some of the possible answers that you may have. Right, we got there our questions. And let's see, let's start with you, Eugenia. You choose the question and choose one of your classmates. Anybody from the class. De su grupo, que no sea de su grupo, como usted quiera. No. Okay. Uh, my... Imelda. Okay. Su Imelda, okay. Imelda. What happened if you mix red and blue paint? If I'm mixing the red and blue color, it turns us purple color. Okay. Very good. Very good. Thank you so much, Eugenia and Imelda. And... Yes, Give me a moment. Okay. Imelda, ask another student. Hola. Eh, Bernardo. Bernardo, okay. Thank you, Melda. Bernardo, you choose. Um, number eight. What happens if you forget your umbrella on a rainy day? Who are you? In my case, I don't get up because I could get sick. Okay, very good. <laughs> and now I need you to ask one question. Perfect answer, Bernardo. I need you to ask one question to someone else. To another student. Emerson. Okay. What happens if you mix red and blue paint? I get uh, purple paint. I get purple paint. Very good, thank you, Bernardo. Emerson, continue. Yes, Sam. Um, yes. Luis Javier. Okay, ask. But what happens if you leave a restaurant without painting your mail? Repeat again, Javier, because I could not hear you. I, I... Give me a moment, Javier. Oh. Okay, eh, repita su respuesta, por favor. No me sirve el micrófono. Permítame, que yo no lo escucho. Ustedes se me escuchan a mí, ¿verdad? Yes, teacher. Yes, Okay, let's try one more time, Javier, if you don't mind. What happens if you don't pay, if you leave a restaurant without paying for your meal? Mm. Espérame que no sé con una palabra la estoy buscando. Ok. Te esperamos. Oh, Did you leave? Salí. Uh -huh. ¿Qué pasa? No lo traduzca.
I spend more. Okay, I spend more. Why? Why do you spend more? I... I spend the money that that apartado, como se dice? Save. Or, perdón. Save. Face. Save. Okay, who wants to help with Javier? What happens if you leave a restaurant without paying for your meal? Joanna, write your answers, Javier, please. No, no le entendí, teacher, repito. Write your answers. Joanna, what happens if you leave a restaurant without paying for your meal? The restaurant is uh, closed for me. Okay, very good. The restaurant looks for you, <laughs> right? <laughs> Probably they, they will get you to the police. All right, thank you. <laughs> Joanna, ask another student. Uh, Pablo, uh, what happened if you always smile and say hello to people? I'm very happy and polite. Okay, very good. Right, thank you. Adalberto, thank you, Ana. Ask another student. Uh, Carla. Uh, Carol, Carol. Carol, okay, Carol. Carol. Uh -huh. Go. What, what happens if you eat too much candy? I... I get the fat. You get? Fat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Very good. Or you get what? Uh, Joanna, you mentioned something that's very good. What happens if you eat too much candy? I have to, uh, what is the meaning of candy? pronunciation of caries. Okay, how do you say it? You said it correctly. I have to, I have to. I get. I get. Caries. <laughs> yes, it will be the. Cavities. Ca cavities. cavities. I get uh -huh. cavities. Caries. Okay. okay. Cavities. Thank you so much, Carol. Thank you, Anna. Carol, ask another person. We have three questions, four questions left. De los que no. Elena Guadalupe. Elena, okay. Pregúntale. Ask her. Ask her a question. Elena Guadalupe, what happens if you watch a sad movie? If you watch a sad movies, I am like it. Okay. I like it. I, I like am it. like it. No, I like it. Okay. I like it. I like it. Elena, ask another student. Um, Carla, no sé si yo. Okay, Carla, yes, you can ask Carla. Go. Choose a question, Elena. You have number one and seven and ten. Okay. 
What happens if you don't study for a test? If I don't study for a test, my gra grounds will be terrible and I could not go to the next English model. Okay. Remember not to use will because we're in zero conditional, right? My grades, my, my grades or my scores are bad, right? Or are terrible, are terrible, you said, right? Terrible. Very good. And Carla, you ask the last person, please. Um, Oscar Noel. Okay, perfect. Oscar, ask Oscar, Carla, please. What happened is you play video games for 10 hours. I tired because it is too much time. Okay, very good, right? You get tired. Noe, ask another person. Okay, Sara Lopez. Mm -hmm. Sarah. What happened? Ready, Sara? Ready. Okay, what happened if you throw a, a piece of wood into far, a fire? Um, the good burns and make a lot fire. Okay, perfect. Excellent, Sara. And the last one, please, is number four. ¿Quién hace falta? Uh, you can ask anybody. Se le puede preguntar a quién. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Falta Emerson, Adalberto. Uh, Emerson. Okay. What happens if you draw a glass on the floor? It's, uh, it's broken. Okay. It breaks. It breaks. It breaks. Okay. It breaks. Very good, guys. Now, what I notice about this activity is the following. You are not the majority. It's doing very good, okay? I will say this quickly in Spanish. Tienen que practicar vocabulario. El vocabulario que deben usar ya está ahí en las preguntas. No lo están usando. Están poniendo will donde no deben poner will porque es zero conditional. It's present and present, okay? Cuando es present and present, no utilizamos will. La mayoría lo usó, pero hubieron unos dos, tres ejemplos donde sí lo utilizaron. No, no, ¿cómo le diría? No traten de pasar todo su pensamiento de español a inglés porque no, no funciona de esa forma. Traten de pasar la idea que ustedes tienen, ¿ok? La idea, porque recuérdense que en español hablamos distinto. Ya se los he dicho, bastante distinto. De lo contrario... También tienen que practicar la estructura. No practicaron la estructura. Right? Solo dijeron la respuesta. Ah, it breaks, por ejemplo. Ah, it melts. It boils. Eso no es conditional. Tienen que practicarla todo para recordarse. ¿Ok? De lo, de lo que están haciendo, la consecuencia y el resultado. Si no, si no practican la gramática cuando están hablando, no se van a recordar después. Right? Simple y sencillamente. No se van a recordar. Yo sé que a veces hay profesores que les dicen, ah, sí está bueno, pero si no está bueno, no está bueno su focus. Okay, tenemos que practicar. Right now, let's continue. We're going to keep working on the book right now. We're going to work on the book. Ahora que hemos practicado acá un poquito. We're going to go back here. And we are going to go ahead and look at a purchase order. Do you know what is a purchase? What is a purchase? This one. Compra. Orden okay. de compra. Very good. Excellent, Eugenia. Right? That's a purchase order, right? For example, if I am in the in the school, 
right? Sometimes if I am a teacher, I need to buy some uh, paper for the kids, right? So notebooks for the kids. So they can practice. So I need to issue a purchase order, right? Or ask for a purchase order to the accountant so they can buy it. I don't buy it. The institution buy it. So we're going to see right now more vocabulary, right? This vocabulary here, we have it in our book. This is on page 45. Go to page 45. Right? And we have a purchase order, right? I need you to look at it. Only look at it right now. This it says Builder MT Management Technology Purchase Order. And we have a lot of information there, right? So look at the purchase order, please. And we're going to work, right, with some of the information there, right? Just look at it. In a moment, I will show you a, a real purchase order. Okay. Do you look at it? Yes? Yes, please. Yes. Okay. Very good. Right. Now, based on that purchase order, right, that you have there, right, what we're going to do right now is to work and try to answer these questions. Right. We have two questions. How many items are they are how many items are they buying? Right, are they buying? How much is the total price? Two simple questions, right? That you're going to answer based on the purchase order. Let's do it. Two, two items. Two items. Two items, okay. Two items, that's cool, right? We have two items there. Right, okay, and how much is the total? 6,415 okay. 6, cents. $415 with 20 cents. Okay, very good, very good. Now, I'm going to ask you another piece of information, okay? How many units are they buying? How many units are they buying? One, one. Okay, one unit. One unit, are you sure? Are they buying one? Yes, sure. Yes, one and one. One and one. one, and one. How many units? Two, two units. units, right? Two units. Two units. Very good. Two units. Very good. What is the name of the vendor? What is the name of the vendor? Or the seller? What is the name of the seller? Digital management technology. Okay, very good. Yes, it is. Builder management technology. Very good. What is the, uh, let's see here. What is the price of, oh, we have the same name, right? What is the price of the cheapest unit, of the cheapest product? What is the price of the cheapest product cheap cheap 255 with 20 cents exactly very good very good excellent job now i'm going to show you right now right another purchase order right these are purchase orders that we have here uh, from real purchase orders right let me show you right now here we are. 
Teacher, lo último no entendí de, de chip. Chipes. For example, uh -huh. if this is $100 and the Alcatel is $50, the Alcatel is cheaper, right? If I have an iPhone, a Xiaomi, and an Alcatel, the Alcatel is cheapest, right? So it doesn't cost much. Now, let me show you here. Okay, give me a moment. Okay, can you see there a, another purchase order? This is a purchase order from a store in Los Angeles, California, right? Los Angeles. So let's take a look at this and let's make the same questions, okay, that we have from the other. How many items are they buying? Three items. Three. Three items. Okay. Very good. Three type of items. Very good. Three type of items. What is the quantity of the of the uh, second item? What is the quantity of the second item? Fifty. No. Seven. Fifty, yes. The quantity is. Mira, ese de la foto que me mandaste. Microphone. Apaga su micrófono. Thank you. Okay, very good. So it's fifty. Excellent job. We see here fifty, right? Fifty. What is the total price? Ten dollars. What? What is the price, Eugenia? Ten dollars. Ten dollars? No. The, the total price. Ah. Oh. One thousand. Uh -huh. One thousand? One thousand. One thousand and... One. Mm. One thousand and what? Okay, give me a moment, que no lo veo, permítame. ¿Dónde está estando? Okay, what is the total price, guys? Need you to tell me. One thousand dollars with one cent. One thousand dollars with one cent. Excellent job. Yes, that's the price. Okay, what is the name of the vendor? My store. My store. Okay, that's the name of the vendor. Are you sure? The name of the vendor. Great supplier. Great supplier. Very good. Okay, and what is the shipping address? What is the shipping address? Los Angeles, CIA. Los Angeles, California, yes. 
Exactly, that is the shipping address. So that is how easy we can read a purchase order. If you see, it's pretty similar to the billing statements, right? It's pretty, pretty similar to the billing statements we saw before, right? So we don't have to get confused with that. It's something that's very easy to practice. So every time you want to practice with that, do so, okay? Now, we are going to work right now. Just give me a moment here. Voy a pasar la asistencia de que se me olvide. Sé que es un poquito temprano, pero... So, yeah. Okay. Carlos Vladimir Rodríguez Díaz. Present, present. Daisy Elizabeth Recinos Álvarez. Daisy. Eduardo Franco Núñez. Elena Guadalupe Andrade. Present. Emerson Ulises Monroy Calix. Present, Miss. Francisco Sánchez López. Imelda Sumara Pineda Castro. I am here, teacher. Jacqueline Vanessa Parrilla García. José Alexander Hernández Carvajal. José Bernardo López Montes. Present teacher. Carla Eugenia Hernández Otelo. Present teacher. Carla Elizabeth Calante Enríquez. Present, Miss. Luis Javier Castillo. Present. Manuel Alfredo Hernández Ventura. Oscar Noé Magaña Martínez. Present teacher. Sara Vigail López Portillo. Present teacher. Daniel Mon Torres de Beltrán. Present Miss. Wendy Marlene Martínez Sánchez. Present. Janira del Carmen Gutiérrez. Present. Pablo Alberto Abrego Vázquez. Present. Okay. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Now, so what we're going to do right now is that we're going to work, right, with what we call in English, time clauses, okay? Time clauses. So let me go ahead and show you here my, my book. And these clauses, right, what we're going to do here Okay, we have these examples and we have some words that I need you to pay attention to, right? These are the phrases or the words that you will pay attention, okay? I'm going to select them and I want you to read. Joanna, can you read number one and number two? And... Uh, Carol, read number three and number four, please. The time classes. Uh, before you start writing the purchase order, you have to check every product. After they pay, we can start placing the package on the truck. Uh, we are authorized to change items until we check the partial order as soon as we register the order in our system you can you can take it home okay perfect now we have those phrases right over there that we're going to use right and these are phrases that we use to express time. That's why they are called time clauses, right? That's what we use it for, to express 
when something happens. They are also called in English conjunctions, right? Conjunctions. So they tell us pretty much an exact time when a person or the subject of the sentence has done something, right? Now, let me go ahead and show this to you. Wait, give me a moment so we can have a better understanding of what we are doing. Let me show you a PowerPoint. My goodness. Okay, I think we're fine now. Okay, so right here, let's start with this. Here we have, again, right? This is going to be a independent, a dependent clause, right? And this one right here is going to be my dependent clause, right? The examples that we have right now, they are also in present, okay? As you can see, they are in present. However, with the time clauses, right, we can make our examples in past, right? There's no problem with that, right? But since we're practicing the simple present with zero conditionals, now we're going to use them like that, right? Before you start writing the purchase order, you have to check. After they pay, we can start. We are authorized to change items. We are right, until we check. Simple present. All of the examples that we have are in simple present. But I want to warn you, that's not the only option that we have. Right? Let me show you right now something here. Um, here it is. Can you see what it says, time classes? Yes, teacher. Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. Now, with this, right, you use the time clauses, as you can see here, when something happens. And the variant of time clause can be in the present or the past tense. We have that clear, right? Look at these two examples. I look after the children while she goes to London. Simple present, right? I haven't given him a thing to eat since he arrived. Listen, perfect and simple pass. We can do that with no problem. But they are helping us to understand when thing happens in the timeline, right? Now, can you read the warning, Carol? Warning, you never use. Warning, you never use the future things in a time close you 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 use one on the present tense Einstein? instead instead there you go read the two examples uh, bernardo let me stay here till jane comes to bed i'll do it when i finished writing these letters okay very good if you see in the time clause, which is the phrase pretty much that starts with the word that we use in this until or till when, in this part, we do not use the future. We can use the future here in the main clause, but not in the time clause. The time clause starts when we see these words, when, until, as soon as, Right, that's when we start. Now let's continue. Right. Um, Eugenia, can you read this part when you want to say? When you want to say that two events happen at the same time, you, you use a tiny clause with as, when, or why. While, wow, very good. For example, when I was teaching English, 
my mother called me in the past, right? When I was teaching English, my mother called me. That's something that happened in the past at the same time. But right now we're just gonna check on the meaning of the time clauses or these words that are very specific. Now, uh, Joanna, can you read this part? Um, sometimes the two events happen together for a period of time. Uh, she wept bitterly as she told her story. Her story. Her story. Her story. Her story. Very good. Sometimes the two events happen together. We can use the past. Here we're talking about something that happened in the past. Right, that we already know how to use it. Now, this is something that we might use in the next course, right? When we have the past progressive and the simple past, right? When and while. Now, we're going to move right now to the ones that we have in our book, right? What do we have here in our, oh, let me share it again. Give me a moment. Okay, now, what is the meaning of before and after? Let's have a small point in time. Right? When we have before right? and after, we have here, right? Oh my goodness, I'm very bad with. This is our line, our timeline. We know that this is the present, right? Now we can say that this is before and this is after, right? So we're gonna put here before. And this is after, right? After a period of time, before and after. When we say as soon as, right? Is when, for example, uh, let's say, uh, have you noticed Daisy? Daisy, as soon as Daisy connects to the class, she says hello. Right? If you pay attention to your classmate, as soon as she connects to the Zoom class, she says hello, teacher, hello, everyone. As soon as. So as soon as means right in the moment. Right? Now we have until, for example, until. The meaning of until is simple. I, I check the students' homework until I finish the class on Friday. Not before, right? But until I finish. So pretty much with until, we can say that we are here right now at 9.39 p.m. or 9.40 p.m., right? Until it can be at 10.10, until I finish the class until, right? So I have a target, I have a goal to reach. Do you understand these words right now? Before, as soon as, until? Miss, for, exa for example, before I get to job, as soon as I have to take a shower. Good question. Good question. Um, and you cannot use two time clauses in the same sentence. Right? If you look at the examples here in the in the chat, in the chat, in the book, right? If you look at the examples in the chat, we only have one time clause in the sentence. Right? Before. We cannot say before you start as soon as you have to check every problem. No, we only use one. For example, let's check number one. It says, before, as soon as I get the job, I have to take a shower. Which one do you think is better? I get to job, I get to job. Give me, permítame, chicos. Work. 
no es job. Job no es un verbo, chicos. Okay, I get to work, I have to take a shower. Which one do you think is better, before or as soon as? Before. Before, yes, that's correct. Before I get to work, I have to take a shower. I don't take a shower in the office. If I say, as soon as I get to work, I have to take a shower. Mm -mm. Because you don't take a shower in the office. You take a shower before the office, right? Now, what would you do in number two? You can still use it. You, you pay for the material you until you can start using it. Using it until. Very good. Until. Very good. What about number three? Give the chains. Step. After you know how much the chains give the chain. Before, after. After. If the change after, you know how much the total is. Exactly. You don't. You don't get the change before, right? You give the change after you know how much it is. Now the last one. All the workers can go until they finish their work before they finish their work. Uh, all the worker can go mm -hmm. until they finish their work. Until they finish their work. Excellent. Very good. Until they finish their work. So those are the words that we are using right now, right? To complete our conditionals, right? These are also conditionals. And we are making these conditionals in the present. Right, in the present time. Now, do you have questions right now? El, el until. Uh -huh. No queda claro, teacher. Sorry, es what? El until, no me queda claro. Es después, va. Pero no, no logro diferenciar con after. It's not uh, this quest exactly, but for example here, I can tell you. Okay, in my case. I am going to, I am, no, let me see. I will get graduated, right? I will get graduated until I finish my thesis work. Okay. I, I will get graduated until I finish my thesis work. So until is not similar to after, right? Because it's not that you have one at one point and then you have to do something, right? It's a goal right, that you have. For example, I can say, um, I buy my Christmas decoration until we finish November, right? Until we finish November. So I can start with my Christmas decoration. So until is not similar to after, right? Because I can say, oh, I will buy my decorations after I get paid. You have a, a period of time in the middle. Okay? Now, we're going to see more examples. We're going to see more examples. I want you to see more examples with me, please. Wait. Let me put it here. One moment.
que me van a dar. Permítanme, chicos. Estamos tratando aquí de esto. Miss. ¿Eh? I'm going to eat dessert until I finish my meal. Exactly. Yes. Very good. <laughs> you did it right. Perfect. Write it in the chat, please. Escríbalo mientras yo le muestro otros ejemplos y ejercicios que tenemos acá. Write it in the chat. Okay, let me show you here. Que okay, si ya está disponible. Can you see here where it says time classes? Mm -hmm. We have more examples here, right? So we have after, when, as soon as, before, etc. Right? And we have more examples. I would like you to read the, these examples. There is one, right? I am going to have this serve or to eat dessert until I finish my meal. Very good. Now, this one is more difficult, provided that. So don't pay attention to that. But we have all of these examples right, that we're going to read. And then we, if you look at them, we don't have future in the time clause, only in the independent clause, right? So. Let's take a look at that. Bernardo, can you read number one and number two? Okay. I'll stay with Jake when I go to London next week. As soon as get my exam results, results, I'm going on holidays. Very good. Excellent, Carol. Very good. I will not eat ice cream until I lose weight. Yes, that's beautiful. Thank you. Uh, continue there with these two, Emerson. Before I go out tonight. Before I go out tonight, I have a finish this east side. This while, while I am away, Penny's going to look after my dog. Thank you. Continue there with these other two examples, Tatiana. I won't be able. I won't be able to buy a car unless I find a, a, job, a job soon. I'll come with you as long as I don't have to try. Right. And the last one, can you read the last one, Alberto? You'll pass your exam. You'll pass your exam. Provide that you do enough vision. Very good. Excellent. Excellent job. So these are more examples, right? That we're going to see here. <clears throat> now, 
Let's try to make our own examples. I have exercises here, of course, right? We have a lot of exercises, but let's see here. I would like you to please try to make two sentences, okay? Just like the, uh, Tatiana and Carol did, make two more examples and write them in the chat, right? No importa si, si, si están malos ahorita, vamos empezando con este tema. Don't worry, just write it. Okay, to put a first and the third. Okay, uh, the first part, Adalberto, to cook eggs first, I must buy. I will have a car until I can buy it, until I can buy it. I will have a car until I can buy it. That one is correct. But the first one, I don't understand the first one. I take medicine before I get sick. Okay, very good, Bernardo. First operation will come to. That's perfect, Emerson. Good. Good. I am going to study other MBA until I finish your study. The study English. Very good. I called you before. I called you before you excuse. Uh, I think you're missing one idea, Carol. In that case, before uh, Sarah is not used as a uh, as a time class. To eat, you must cook before. Me acabo de acordar de Star Wars. En vista Yoda. No saben de Star Wars. To eat, you must cook before, right? Está filosófica, Sarah. I take a shower after the training. Very good, Bernardo. I am, Marlene, I am going to go to sleep when I end my finished class. Very good. I designed the project before the typing code. Very good. I design the project before the typing code. Very good, Luis. I will cook you until the afternoon. Okay. I will cook for you. I will cook for you. Okay. I will cook for you until the afternoon. Okay. I will buy. I will buy. To buy, I will buy to buy a pair of shoes. Carla Eugenia. I will buy to buy. I put on my swing set. Compra, compraré, ah? un, compraré un par de zapatos. But it says buy to buy. Look at your example. No lo traduzca, no lo traduzca. Si usted lo está tra traduciendo así como habla, créame lo que no le va a salir bien. I put on my swimsuit before I go swimming. Before I go swimming, Tatiana. Al, a, es lo mismo, Caro, que escribí arriba. No le entiendo la... la, la After, eh, I call you. 
after you excuse, excuse. But what do you mean you excuse? Excuse, ah, okay. ¿Cuál es la idea de you excuse? Eh, este, llamo después de que, que te disculpe. Después que te disculpes. Uh -huh. Okay, I will call you. Until, uh, will, will. I uh -huh. will call you until you say sorry. Uh, sorry. You say sorry. Algo le hicieron. Uh -huh. Until you say sorry. Very good, Tatiana. I will call you until you say sorry. De lo contrario, talk to my hand. Very good. I don't see your examples, Oscar, Daisy, Elena. I don't see your examples. Wendy, I don't see your examples. Sara, I don't see your examples. Joanna, I don't see. Joanna, 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 Joanna. Sí, no. Así, Wendy está. Sí, lo puse a ti. Sí, está. The NBA. <laughs> I will drink an orange juice in the morning. Perfect, Eugenia. But tell me, what is the time clause? Donde está la time clause ahí? I will drink an orange juice in the morning. Where is your time clause? Morning, teacher. Where is your time clause? I will drink an orange juice in the morning. That's perfect. But where is the time clause? Su oración está perfecta, pero no tiene nada que ver con lo que estamos practicando. I study at the university until the year of 2020. Until the year of 2020. Until. No. Until. Necesito un verbo, un sujeto y un verbo después de until. Until the year of 2020. Está bien escrita. Vamos a ver el lunes de nuevo time process, ¿ok? Como que no les hemos visto. I will come home after work. Está bien escrita, pero no tengo un time clause ahí. After está funcionando como preposición, until como preposición, no como una frase de tiempo. Okay. We're going to see that on Monday. I make my home, I do my homework. I do my homework before I start the class. Or before I take the class. Okay. Now we're going to stop right there. Vamos a parar ahí. Vamos a seguir el lunes. Este día. Veamos. Terminamos el miércoles. Por la tormenta vamos a terminar el miércoles. Entonces nos quedan prácticamente tres días. Este día le corresponde a Sara. Sara, si tiene preguntas, se queda, por favor. Y ahí vamos a tener los, los siguientes tres días. Nos faltan como dos o tres páginas del libro, que las vamos a ver el lunes, ¿ok? Quiere decir que el martes y el miércoles vamos a repasar los temas más difíciles y vamos a ver un poco de would like, que no lo alcanzamos a ver. Right? Eso es lo que vamos a hacer la siguiente semana. Eh, ¿Alguien tiene alguna pregunta antes de retirarnos? No. Ok. So I see you guys. Next, I eat my dinner as long as I have the English class. Okay. Imagínense que no tiene English class sábado y domingo. As long as. Ahí le voy a mandar un video para que lo vean también. Okay. Wait until the first week to travel in Canada. Wait what? ¿Qué vamos a hacer? Cuando viajamos a Canadá. ¿Qué va a pasar? Okay. <laughs> Son ideas que, quedan, que, que se quedan pendientes. Si ustedes las leen, se quedan cortas. Right? Uno se queda aquí, ¿qué va a pasar? Right? So, I see you guys on Monday. Please, at 8 p.m. Se conectan a las 8, por favor, para seguir trabajando con time classes. Bye, bye. Bye, teacher. See you on Monday. See you on Monday. Bye, bye, miss. Bye. Good night. Bye, bye. Good night. Bye. Hi, Sara. Bye, teacher.
¿Tiene preguntita, Sara? Cuénteme. Eh, ya, eh, sobre el último tema. De Sai Claus. Dígame. No comprendí eh, lo de, el uso que tiene que ir como intermedio. El time clause, Sara, es para, para expresar o to describe, right? When thing happens in time, okay? okay. Venga, le muestro, permítame aquí. Eso se me traba todo. I will show you some examples. Estos van a ser ejemplos que vamos a utilizar el lunes también, ¿ok? Así que usted se lo va a llevar primero. Look at these examples right here, right? Something happens before one thing, right? Or something happens at the same time or something happens after, right? So we have the first one. Before we cook pies, right, you know, cakes, right? Before we cook, we cook pies, right? This is a pie. We wash our hands, right? Before we cook pies, we wash our hands. So what what activity is first? What do you think is first? We cook pies or we wash our hands? Before we cook pies. This is this is first, are you sure? Oh, oh it pies. Before we cook, it's like say before we wash our hands. We wash or hands, exactly. This is activity number one, right? And why do we know that? Why do we know that? Because we have this word right here. Before we make this activity or before we complete this activity, cook pies, we do this, right? So pretty much before we cook pies, is number two, right? It's number two. Primero paso una actividad y después voy a pasar la otra. ¿Cómo lo sé? Porque tengo esta palabra. Es como cero, ¿Mm? el, tema, el tema que se vio ayer. Es parecido, exactamente. Como tenemos acá, el, ya vimos las zero conditionals, vamos a tener otra vez otra, otras condicionales right? que no las definen como condicionales en sí, pero que existen esas palabras. Okay, ¿Cuál entonces, es la diferencia entre cero condicional y time clause? El uso de before, after, until, until as long as, as soon as, esa es la diferencia. Mm -hmm. For example, here we have another one, we have after. Right? He came home after he finished work, what happened first? He finished work. He finished work, exactly. This happens first, very good, right? This is number one. You put here, this is activity one, right? Um, um, uh, right? And this number two. Right? Now we can say, uh, he came home as soon as he finished work, very quick, right? Pero ya cambiaría como la urgencia de la oración. Pero también la podemos hacer. Así, entonces la diferencia entre ellas dos, y aquí también hay una diferencia que en estas, en las time classes, podemos utilizar el simple past. Ok. Para el futuro, right? En la oración principal. En la time clause, si usamos pasado, vamos a utilizar el pasado, presente perfecto. Pero si usamos futuro, vamos a utilizar simple present. Esa es la simple diferencia. Future. Pero no vamos a utilizar futuro en las dos clauses, solo en la main clause. 
Y en la zero conditional siempre ocupamos simple present y simple present. En el ejemplo 2, eh, el verbo eh, terminar y uh -huh. ir, eh, ambos están en pasado. Came home after he finished work, exactly. En eso sí, sí los dos están en pasado. Siempre que se hable del pasado. Sí, en el, pas el pasado lo puede combinar con pasado, pasado, pasado y pasado progresivo o pasado y presente. Pasado y presente, perfecto. Esas tres combinaciones son. Pero obviamente no las vamos a ver todas en una sola clase, ¿verdad? Porque, uff, vamos a hacerlo. <ríe> okay. Y lo otro este, era la clase de ayer, pero tiene relación, ¿verdad? Sí. Con la clase de ayer. Una cosa es, es el resultado de la otra. Pero esos resultados con la clase de ayer, todos los resultados son se pueden comprobar porque son ciertos, son hechos reales. Okay. Por ejemplo, yo puedo decir, if I, if I don't take a shower, I stink. That's a fact. Okay. Yeah. If I don't eat pupusas, I get sad. Right? Okay. That's a fact okay. for Salvadorans. Yeah. So that's what happens with the conditions. Creo que las zero conditions son de las más fáciles. Bueno, todas son fáciles. Solo te pone la atención. La otra. Ok, Sara. ¿Alguna otra pregunta? Por favor, todavía tenemos tres minutos. Oh, solamente. ¿Estás sure? seguro? Yes. Ok, perfecto, Sara. So I will see you then eh, next week. Have a beautiful rest of the weekend. Bye bye. Thank you, teacher. Good night. Descanse. Bye bye. Bye.